Hi girls, I'm Victoria and I'm the STEM program manager at Girl Scouts of Citrus. In this video series, we're gonna help you find where science is hiding around your house and help you become brownie home scientists. So maybe science is hiding in that cabinet, perhaps that cabinet, maybe that cabinet, oh, maybe this cabinet. No, not that cabinet. We're gonna take a look in the other cabinets because we have five science experiments we're gonna test out using only materials that we can find in our kitchens and the rest of our houses. So we're gonna test those out, but make sure you're paying close attention because scientists learn new things every time they try out different experiments. Have you ever walked into a candy store and seen the colorful rock candy and just wonder, how is that made? Well, we're gonna give it a try. So for this experiment, you're gonna need a couple of ingredients. You're going to need one cup of water, four cups of sugar, some food coloring. So I chose purple, but any color that you want, that's gonna work for you. A jar, it doesn't need to be this big, but you do want it big enough because this is where you're gonna grow your rock candy. One wooden skewer and then a small pot. So you want it big enough to where your cup of water and your four cups of sugar are gonna fit in, but not too big because you are gonna have to dissolve the sugar into the water in the pot. To make your rock candy, start off by boiling the cup of water with the help of an adult. Once the water is boiling, Slowly pour in the sugar, letting it dissolve as you pour. When the sugar no longer dissolves and starts clumping up at the bottom, add in a couple drops of food coloring. With the help of an adult, pour the liquid into the jar. Keep an eye out and make sure you don't get any undissolved sugar in the jar. Now you'll add your wooden skewer into the jar. Time to let the jar sit and watch what happens. Crystals will begin to form in about an hour. Did you know that sugar is actually made up of tiny crystals that clump together? Kind of the same idea that makes up your rock candy. So you can see that the tiny crystals are starting to clump together right here and on the stick. Also, I wanna talk about at the beginning of this video, I mentioned that scientists learn new things every time they try out different experiments. Well, this was my first time ever trying out making rock candy. I know, hard to believe. Well, one thing I learned while trying to make this was that you need a funnel to get your mixture into the jar. So I improvised when doing mine. I cut the top off a water bottle and turned it upside down. And I put the top of the bottle into the jar and then I poured the mixture through that from the pot. Um, a regular funnel would probably work better, but uh, I didn't have one, so I improvised. But yeah, just make sure you have a funnel. It's gonna make it a lot easier to get that mixture into the jar. All right, girls, so we are on day two of the rock candy growing process and I now have rock candy. So that is what mine looks like. And there was another chunk that went there, but that fell off whenever I took it out of the jar because it just wasn't attached to the stick well enough. So if you have some chunks that fall off, don't worry. It just means that they probably didn't attach themselves to the stick well enough. Also, your rock candy is probably going to look different from mine. That just means that the sugars clumped together differently in the jar from how mine did. It's still going to taste just as yummy, even if it looks different. 
I also want to talk about how long I left my rock candy in the jar. I thought I was going to leave this in the jar for maybe a day or two. I took my candy out around hour 10 and that's because my candy was getting a lot bigger than I expected. And I got worried that if I left it in overnight, it might get too big to take out of the jar. So what I recommend is that every hour or every two hours, go ahead and check on your rock candy's growth. And when it gets to a good size, take it out of the jar. Once you take it out of the jar, leave it on a drying rack, kind of like I have, or any surface that you can just let it be for a couple hours and let it dry. Once it's dry, it should look something like this. This looks really yummy to me and I haven't had candy in a long time. So I'm gonna go eat this and probably get a sugar rush that's going to last me the entire next month. If you enjoyed this experiment, make sure to check out Brownie Home Scientist video two, where we're gonna do two more experiments. I'll catch you next time, girls.